I hear some breathing hard. <laughs> yeah. Always like mean? Huh? <laughs> Everything's being evaluated, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Those of you that jogged it on over, I'll go ahead and start for you guys. Those people that are walking over, I'm just going <laughs> to go ahead. Um, um, I thought today was a lot of really good work. Um, had a bunch of bunch of situations. Um, two minute red zone, some move the ball stuff. Um, you know, I thought early on, I thought you know the offense did some good things early on, and then I think the defense kind of responded a little bit as the as the practice went along. I, I think the best thing <clears throat> you know about all this work is um, I think our guys, all of our guys, are, are uh, competing extremely hard, um, and I think that's has to be a foundational piece for you know our football team this year is is just that you know competitive nature and and, uh, and so I'm pleased with what I'm getting out of out of that um, again we had the officials out here um, today and and there's a few things that need to be cleaned up and yet I thought you know for the amount of plays that we ran today I thought it was relatively clean so um, They'll be out here again the next couple of days, so we'll, we'll uh, you know, have some you know game-like situations. So I was going to ask, is it going to kind of be high volume like this all week? Um. Well, yeah, I, I think you know we may. I'm going to look at the play counts a little bit, and <clears throat> we may we may knock a few off tomorrow, but um, and, and we'll probably kind of taper it down a little bit as as the week goes on, uh, but. Today was a, I mean, it was a grinder for a reason, um, and uh, and I thought our guys, you know, pushed through it. It was sort of a revised script since you didn't have the joint practices. You were like, how can we make these competitive? Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it was a lot of what we would have done against yeah. the 49ers had they been here, um, in trying to create as many of those game-like situations as we can. So. Um, Again, I thought it was good practice. And I noticed that the walkthroughs were offense on one field, defense on one field. Was that so that the other didn't know what was being thrown at them, sort of, as opposed um, to a scripted practice? <clears throat> no, not not really. I mean, there, in terms of the scripted practices, the only thing that either side of the ball knew was what's the down and distance and what's the personnel grouping. That's so. So the, 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 on the script, the defense had no idea what the plays were going to be. I'm talking about the coaches yeah. um, and the offensive coaches and had no idea what the you know, defensive play call was going to be. And so it was probably as close to game-like as you can possibly get. Do you normally do that in a camp, or that was in place of having another team here? Um, no, that was something that you know I just thought – <clears throat> you know, needed we needed to do. You know, I think. Look, there's something to where you we script these practices to make sure we're getting <clears throat> kind of the plays that we need to get, the looks that we need to see, and, and so there's a choreography about all of that. Um, <clears throat> and there's a lot of script review that happens before you come out to practice, right? And and so, but that's not how the game's played. And so, um, I thought. It was important for us to, you know, just go out here and kind of play play football, and and have to be able to call the game that way also. So, um, and then there was a couple of periods that were just totally unscripted, nothing, you know. Um, offense will put out a personnel grouping, defense got to figure out figure it out, and um, and the officials were marking the ball where they thought it would come down. So kind of a con controlled scrimmage, if you will. So. That's kind of how we we operated today. Uh, we can see a little bit about like the kicking competition, but maybe not so much about the hunters. How, how do you think that's gone through this point? Yeah. yeah, look, I think it's a competitive, you know, situation. <coughs> uh, both of these guys, um, both have strong legs. Uh, both have had really good days. Both have some things that they still need to try to improve on. Um, and, and I think it's, I think it's a, a legitimate. You know, competition there. So, 
um, we're not ready to make any decisions and, and uh, let these preseason games play out. But but I do think it's a I do think it's a good competition. As you referenced, I think that maybe back in OTAs you needed to kind of see the ability to flip the field a little bit more. Has has Lou gotten better in that regard than he was last year? <coughs> Yeah, and look, I think when you really look at Lou um, and the season that he had last year, it, you know, we, we, we kind of put together a chart in terms of all of his kicks, and um, and the thing that you that, that, that comes out is is there's a lot of consistency. If you just look at it plotted on a graph, or on a graph, um, you know, all the dots are kind of in the same area. You know, and so you know exactly what you're getting, and 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 there's a comfort level to that, um, and you see some of these other, you know, plots, and there'll be one dot over here which is a really long kick and flips the field, and but there'll be one over here that, you know, uh, is is one of these 20 yarders or 25 yarders. So um, I like that I know from a consistency standpoint pretty much what I'm getting. I do think he's gotten better in terms of some traditional punts instead of the you know end over end Aussie style. Um, and yet I still think that's an area that he uh, you know can still work to improve on. Pete? Okay. <clears throat> no, go ahead. <laughs> a couple of weeks of training camp practice and a preseason game. How do you see Fuaga has progressed as you go along? Yeah, look, I mean, I think the biggest thing for me with him is is um, I don't think the game's too big for him. Um, I rarely see him make the same mistakes twice. Um, and yet I think he needs to get out there and play football and and uh, play in these preseason games and get some reps and, you know, understand, you know, what he can and can't do. Um, and until you get out there in games, you re you, you know you really don't know. And so I think every day is a learning experience for him, much like it is for every other rookie that's out here. Um, but I do see him improving on a daily basis. Um, we, we obviously see a ton of positions where you compete and rotate. Safety, we just talked about yesterday. You did it with left guard for a while, linebacker. Um, what was the philosophy behind right tackle has not been an open <coughs> competition so far as you as you're Well, I, 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 I would disagree with, with that in terms of, um, um, yeah, I think there's there's part of it with the offensive line and trying to create some cohesiveness with a group. Um, and yet there's got to be some competition. And um, I also think this, I think that I'm, 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 I'm looking for, okay, I, I want to see one of these other guys step up and tell me that they, you know, they need to be the guy, and, and and so, you know, this isn't we don't we don't run a, you know, a charity organization where we just give things away. I mean, guys have to go out and earn it, and and you start somewhere, right? And then, like I'm looking for, okay, uh, where are the signs, you know, that say, I, coach, you need to put me in here, um, and uh, where we're at today, um, you know, I still feel like we've got the the right five guys out there, and, but we're going to continue to evaluate it and, and at all those lines, spots. Only Udo obviously missed a significant amount of time with the injury. Have, yeah. have you seen from him since from July 22nd through whatever? Yeah, I, look, I mean, I, I would say there's still some inconsistencies, um, uh, and yet, you know, if you watch play after play after play, <clears throat> you know, you see some good things. Um, it, it, and but I would say in, in in relationship to that or in relationship to the left guard position, um, like I'm waiting to see who just jumps out there and says, "This is my job," and and so we'll figure it out. Yeah, with your background, kind of as a defensive coach, and so many teams trying to replicate like uh, either this offense or you know kind of that Shanahan offense. They're going to make a when so many teams try and run the same type of scheme. And is that newer since you've been in the league? Like them trying to replicate this offense specifically, or does it kind of come and go in waves of 
No, I, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's anything new to it. I mean, I think, look, we, we, this is a copycat league, you know, and so everybody's trying to see what's being successful in our league, and they're trying to mimic those things the best that they can. Um, and so, um, now, what's that? What's that style, or what's that, you know, scheme? Um, you know, I think sometimes that changes. Uh, but I don't think there's any any question that, you know, <clears throat> we're all we're all watching the tapes. We're all evaluating all 32 teams, and I mean, I'm not ashamed to say if somebody's doing something really good, I'm not, you know, I'm not above trying to steal it. Does the scheme lose its effectiveness then when so many teams are trying to replicate it? I mean, if it's effective, then it's yeah. still effective, right? You know what I mean? So, um, no. And, and, and look, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? It's not about the scheme. You know, everybody talks about the scheme. Like, that's, there's, there's some of that, right? Um, but it's about how you teach it, you know, the detail, how you demand the details, um, the effort that you play with, um, the precision with which you play. I'm talking about in all phases, right? Offense, defense, and the kicking game. Everybody wants to talk about what you play. You know, I think a lot more of it's about how you play. Um, and, and, um, and so, look, I think, I think there's some coaching staffs that, that do an excellent job of Teaching, whether it's offense, defense, kicking game, um, and 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 then they're holding guys accountable to doing their job and doing it right. And and so if you have good players, okay, and you teach it with precision and you hold guys accountable, and then the players hold each other accountable, um, that's where you have success. So yeah, some of it's some of it's scheme, uh, but there's a lot more uh, to it than just the scheme. When KJ Miller got hurt three weeks ago, you expressed some concern just about it being hard to make the team from the training room. Hadn't so, gotten easier. <laughs> well, where do you stand with that evaluation now? And do y'all feel like you're going to be able to have a full evaluation by the time? Same you place I was when you know when we started training camp. You know, I, I got no other information to go off of. So, um, yeah, I still think it's a. I mean, it's challenging. This you know. Be more of a comment with that, but like he's been doing side work. But he hasn't like taken that next step to get back to the team, and we've seen other guys with hamstrings kind of do the same and then get they're, back. They're all they're all different, you know. They're all different, um, and so, uh, but you know, guys like Demario Davis, who I I'm, I've been with since what 2018, right? Um, and and and. He's made a lot of plays for us. All right, I'm gonna be a lot more like I got a lot more information to, to base my evaluation off of than just what I see out here in training camp. Some of these other young guys that I don't have as much information on, it's it's hard for me to say that that guy. Um, and I'm not just talking about him in general, or you know specifically. I mean, it, this could apply to a lot of guys, you know. If they're not if they're not able to get out here and practice, how how can I evaluate it? Was Tendre's a little bit more severe in the compared to some of the other? Well, he's not out here yet. You know what I mean? So I I don't I don't I don't know about severity. I just know that you know you go through a rehab process, um, and some guys are able to get back out here quicker than others. Do you have any update on Taylor Ford? He had the other hamstring today. All right. Thanks, guys.